Today we're going to cover how to assign the pitch at the page level, but also at the condition level, so that way if you have different fields on your roof that you need to measure with different pitches, you get the accurate quantity of material. So to add the page pitch, you're going to either edit the page properties or you're going to use the page properties icon from the conditions breadcrumb. In this case, I'll go back to the pages breadcrumb, I'll click the edit button, and I'm going to add my pitch in the page properties. In this case, my pitch is a 412. Now once I click save and I click my forward arrow button, you'll notice that we have a 412 pitch assigned to almost all of our conditions. Now there's a couple conditions that don't need the pitch because of where they're located on the roof. For example, like your ridge and your eaves. But then you also still have uh, a couple other conditions that don't necessarily have the 412, it's actually greater. In this case, 417. Now the reason that those conditions have that is because it's your hip and your valleys. So continuing with the page pitch, you'll notice that I have my shingle field. I have one that's set for 412, and you can see that that is the majority of the roof. But then you'll notice that I have two additional pitched areas on this project as well. However, the description may say 612, but the pitch is still reading 412. So we're not quite getting the amount of material that we need to see out there. So this is where you can go in and you can override the page pitch with a condition pitch. Now to override that page pitch, you do need to open up the condition properties. You can do that by double clicking or hitting the edit button. And once you open your condition properties, you're going to move down to the quantities option in the bottom left corner. Open up the quantities option and you'll see that we have an override page pitch checkbox. Simply left click that checkbox, backspace the number that you have in there, and change it to what this condition should be. Click OK and OK again, and you'll notice that your quantity will change. We'll do that again here on the A12 pitch. Again, simply open up your condition properties, go down to quantities, Override page pitch, delete the numbers you don't want, type in the new, OK, and OK again. Now this is how you can go in and adjust the pitch for the area specifically. What happens if you run into, you know, a hip where on the left side of the hip you have a 412 pitch and on the right side of the hip you have a 612 pitch? Well, in that case, what you could do is you could open up your hip condition. You could go down to quantities, and that's where we're going to use the compound pitch option here. Once you go in and put the compound pitch option in, realistically, you have a pitch of 412. Your compound pitch would be a 612. Say OK, and now you're going to see that this is producing a 517. The reason this is 517 is because on the left side you had a 412 pitch and on the right side you had a 612 pitch. We're simply taking the average here, so the average between the two would be 5, 6 plus 4 equals 10, divide that by 2, and that gives you your 517 for your compound pitch. Now if you're making any adjustments to the pitch or you're running into any issues uh, as you're setting up a project, Feel free to give us a call on the tech line and we'd be happy to assist you in any way we can in getting this pitch set up properly. Thank you for watching and have a great day.